All right, what's going on, folks? This is K Spade, the prospect, aka the big blue Chevy driver, and sometimes referred to as the YouTube MVP. And today I'm back with another episode of the Pigskin Pro. Now, let's suppose somebody tripped over this video by accident, or even if you follow the series and you can't remember what's going on, it's cool, it's cool. I got you. So, here's a recap this is strong safety K Spade in his senior season for the University of Miami after coming back after seeing a, uh, you know, uh, a mock draft that he didn't really like too much so in week one we got nebraska we put him in the figure four leg lock got him out of there in week two we got the fake miami i'm sure my ohio fans won't dig that but we call miami of ohio the fake miami we put them in the cross face chicken wing they tapped out now here we are in week three facing the virginia tech Hokies in the first game of our conference schedule right so this is the first play of the game and if it showed anything i was like oh my god let's look at this replay this quarterback was so nasty with that play action. I was damn near in the backfield before I realized it was not a running play. So lucky for me, that deep receiver wasn't my responsibility or I would have gave up a touchdown already. Cool, though. No big deal. They did get the first, but at least it wasn't big, big yardage. So we come back. The very next play, they go up a deep route to the wide receiver, and that play led to three points. So I jumped far ahead to show you guys we're hitting the third quarter, and this is where I actually start to play. I mean, I've been in the game, but I really wasn't doing much. So it's third quarter. It's a 3-0 game, and I wasn't the only person that's not doing much because my offense has given us no points. So like I just said, it's 3-0. It's definitely time for us to get something popping. And I came back to lead these guys, right? So I got to lead. That's my job. So I come out here and make a really, really big play here on third down. And it's crazy. I do such a good job of controlling deep future. It shocks me of how horrible I run the ball when I get an interception. When I get an interception, I look like I don't know what to do. So I come back on the next possession, and I show you guys me in the backfield. And you can look at my player. This dude is ecstatic. He's happy as hell about that tackle. He's more happy about that tackle than he was about the interception. I don't get it. But anyway, my interception led to three points on our offensive end. So we got a tie game here in the third quarter. I call my own number right here. I knock the living crap out of this quarterback. He coughs up the ball. This fat guy scooped it up like ice cream and took it to the house. So look at this. My interception led to three points, and my sack slash forced fumble led to a touchdown. So as far as I'm concerned, I'm responsible for 10 points out here. It's a 10-3 game. All we got to do is play the type of defense we've been playing all game, and we're good. That means worst-case scenario, we'll give up a field goal. We're good. Uh, so I say. All right, so I, I hate when we play zone. I hate when I'm in a zone. So I always try to audible to the man coverage or whatnot. Here I was lucky enough that the running back was my guy. Even though I missed the tackle, he didn't get anywhere. So I'm cool with that. Now here's the third down play. We got to make a stop. I'm looking at the clock. It's fourth quarter. Uh, maybe they could get another possession, but I want to get the stop at any rate. This quarterback comes out the pocket, and I was about to light his ass like a cigarette. And he knew it. He saw a fire. He stopped dropping and rolled. They taught him that as a child, and I guess he listened that day. I really wanted to put the hat on the guy, but it's cool. If they slide and you're that close to him, they still give you credit for the tackle. So I got the tackle, but it's not nearly as satisfying as hearing that crunch when you knock the hell out of a QB. But it's cool. Fourth down. We got to make a stop. I believe we can do it. Let's go. I got my defense fired up. I don't know what's going on on the offensive side of the ball, but I got my defense fired up. So we make the stop. Somehow or another, we got the ball. They got the ball back, should I say. My offense still did nothing. And this damn QB, I'm telling you, if you come out of that pocket again, sir, you will leave here in an ambulance. I promise. I don't know. So this quarterback, I mean, the dude is pretty savvy. On this third down, a nice dump route to a receiver. I guess the receiver went super saiyan. The guy broke two tackles to keep this drive going. You see what's going on here, right? First and 10. We got to stop these guys. At least, look, is this the QB? Yo, I, I, I should have hit him. I should have big hit him. But I didn't even flick the stick because I'm so used to him sliding. I thought he was going to slide again. I guess he tried me up, and he proved me to be a liar. A false start pushed these guys back. We still need to make a stop. It's second and six, and I'd be damned if this quarterback ain't come out the pocket again and live to tell the story. This time, he got the first down. So at this point, he's getting the last laugh. We have got to make a play. Somebody's got to make a play. So something strange happens here, okay? So they, they get the first down play. I make the tackle. 
and they're running the no huddle, right? Well, one of my fat guys doesn't get back, and it's an offsides play. And the coach, I don't know what's going on with our coach, but somebody somewhere told him that I needed to rest. So he pulls me out the game, the best player on the defense, and what happens? Tie game. Are you serious? Can't be serious. But it's cool. I mean, worst case scenario, we're winning in overtime. But I got faith in my defense. We've got to make a play. You see me cheating up. You know what's happening, right? Body bag, bitch. I'm in the backfield knocking the hell out this QB. I told him I owed him one. Man, I'm really feeling confident. I got my defense on the field. We're playing great. I like our chances. Somebody's got to make a play. Somebody's got to make a play. And let's go, man. Okay, so look, I come to the sideline. You see everybody's fired up. I'm not simming. I want to watch this. I got to see this. Go to the sideline. I'm thinking we might need 10, 15 yards at the most, maybe 15 yards so we can get the field goal. I'm watching this quarterback. Nice little dink route. I don't want to tell the offensive coordinator how to do his job, but I'm thinking let's run a dive, you know, keep it in the middle of the field, a soft, safe play is what I'm trying to say. So I'm watching from the sideline. I'm ready to celebrate. I don't understand why we're pe No. No. Are you serious? Then they can't catch him? You can't catch him? Oh, my God. I just gave this team my heart in the second half. And, I, and this, I don't know, y'all. They put the field goal in slow motion. So I'm thinking, well, damn. There you go. Came out here, slow start, played really good in the second half, and we just took a loss that we should not have taken. Now, the goal this year was to go to the national championship. Does this mean we can't go? I don't know. It depends on the record of everyone else. If we finish out strong and some other teams take some losses, we could still be there, but this definitely hurts our chances. And I don't even know who I'm pissed at. The quarterback, the receiver, the offensive coordinator, who the hell was calling the passing play, you know? I don't know. I'm looking at the kid. He's feeling pretty bad about himself. I guess I don't need to go over there and make him feel any worse. But at any rate, I don't do this often, but I'm giving you guys another pig skin pro tomorrow because I know you guys want to know how this ended, right? So this is all I got for this video. I thank you guys for watching, and I will catch you on the next one. I'm out, y'all. Peace. Rainmaker.